Hello and welcome back to Auto Marble Racing here with a track showcase. See cheese in the chat. Uh, yeah, I did respond in the chat. Uh, the team confirmation has been removed from the Discord. We're now using the new uh, team joining system uh, through the Joiner Team channel. So it's a bit more accessible for everyone, including everyone that's new, no longer using the economy system with the team confirmation area. So it should be a bit easier to use for people um, and a lot more accessible. But this is the Buddy 1000 tribute track by King Barto, one of our own racers. You can't see the one with the reactions. Uh, it's in the important info. Join a team. Should be there. I should have all the right permissions and everything. We did test this. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool, you got it. Right, so, yes, with the track showcase. So there is a note that I made from the description of this. So this is from Barto themselves. Uh, so, so this track was made as a tribute to the AFL superstar Lance Buddy Franklin who kicked a thousand goals in 2022, hence the 1000 you can see in the background. I personally was at that game, so as someone who has a huge following and passion for the sport, making this map was something special I wanted to do. Everything in this map was made by myself, so I'd appreciate if nobody re-uploaded any part of my track without permission. Thanks and enjoy my map. So a nice little description there by Barto. And let's have a look around. So AFL, for those who aren't aware, is the Australian Football League. I don't know a whole lot about it myself. I have seen clips of it. 
Um, but safe to say, my understanding is limited. So we have this big uh, stadium, this sort of oval shaped stadium. And I think they have three goals, if I remember correctly. <laughs> I think they have three goals at either end, which are, I don't know if they score differently. I think, yeah, my knowledge is not great, and that is going to come out during this. Um, yeah, it's quite a straightforward track. It's not really much of sort of a race track. It's more of a showy um, sort of run, I suppose. Um, but we can still hold a race on it. We have the uh, the bridge, very nice bridge <laughs> with a river underneath. Uh, I don't know if that's meant to be. Is that the one in Sydney? I'm probably just making a fool of myself here, trying to work all this out. But <laughs> um, yeah, if anyone Australian might be able to correct me on any of this. Uh, but yeah, we will still be able to do a race. So, as with all of our showcases, we do have the, I'll just bring it up here so people can see, we do have the imposters able to join. So remember to use your exclamation mark join in the chat and we will have your imposter levels put into the list on the left. So make sure you do that before we start racing and you'll get to have your own little imposter joining in as well. And of course, the the stream title is still saying that the stream name because you were early, <laughs> too early, too early. Um, and of course, the predictions. So, cheese, do you want to do your mod thing and start up the normal prediction, the DNF prediction? And we'll have a quick look around. Obviously, we've already seen the stadium, but we'll have a look just down this straight. So. Pretty much a straight route into a massive bowl. This will drop you out Ooh, into this is words. There are some little bumps here. So these are, I've just noticed, you zoom in, these are the uh, footballs that they use. And yes, yeah, so the DNF prediction is active, so make sure you get those in. You'll have two minutes to do that. Yeah, that's a cool little feature there. We're obviously going all the way down to the bridge race across the bridge pretty much a straight route through most of this then dropping into this massive bowl down this pipe and through to the portal which will take you all the way through to the stadium and so <laughs> going back and forth is going to take quite a while and this stadium is huge uh, so i think this brings you out on this portal brings you all the way through the field to the other one which then takes you up here across for a bird's eye view and then teleporting all the way back out i'm sure the uh, bitrate is going to love the the stars bring you out here into this bowl which is actually a double tiered bowl into a pipe and then over these holes here if you drop down these are set speeds so these will slow you down quite a lot so you definitely don't end up down there and then across here yep space paint moment indeed hopefully the stream won't fall apart hopefully it will cope so it looks like we've got to spawn them in straight away interestingly so we'll see what happens when we then spawn everyone else in whether that's gonna cause some clashes because i thought originally these came in at the front when everyone spawned but i must be wrong um, so the DNF predictions are complete, so anyone else wanting to join with their own imposter, make sure you use exclamation mark join in the chat. I'll give a little bit more time for that to get your imposters in. And then we'll be able to go. A day without a Yermar stream wouldn't be a good day. Well, I, I think there will be a day. There'll definitely be a day coming. <laughs> Three days a week, and you're sad. Three days a week? Four days a week? Oh, wait, do you mean... Three days a week, no stream. <laughs> Four days a week with a stream. 
I see, I see what you're saying, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I, that's me being silly. Yeah, four streams a day. Wait, four streams a day? <laughs> a week. Yeah, four streams. Four streams a week. Three days without, unless I decide I want to stream something different. A uh, variety game. Uh, yeah, definitely not four streams a day. No, 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 no. Right, I think that will be enough time. Let's actually get started. So let's see what happens when we spawn these in. Okay, it has set them to the front now. That is perfect. So we have imposter cheese and imposter wood starting at the front. Uh, so wood's clearly got a bit of a smoky effect. Uh, we'll see what cheese, if cheese even has an effect once we get going. So 10 laps around this trap. Uh, the green line. So heading down the straight, the two imposters will have a decent start here going into the bowl with that straight run. An imposter cheese with a drop down instantly while everyone else is running very wide. It looks like it has some brilliant drop downs up at the front. Got Baz followed by Stanky, then Adam, Wolf, and Cloud Monkey going over to the bridge. Get a little view of them coming into the bridge here. Oh, it looks like we've lost Shax, so one DNF already. Is Iceman in the chat? Yeah, so those skins are the imposters. Uh, so I don't know if you've joined just a little too late for that. Um, using exclamation mark join. In fact, you could do it now, but they won't be classed on the leaderboard. You can use exclamation mark join in the chat. Um, you'll, you'll have a marble spawned with your name, uh, your Twitch name and a random skin and effect applied to it. And we call those our imposters, which we only use in the showcases. So for those who aren't part of the season, can have their imposters in the showcases. So there we go, we'll head back and take a look. Iceman's imposter, imposter Iceman back here, let's see what they're repping. So it looks like a flag and oh, a no lucky draw with the effect. It looks like there's no effect on this marble. There we go, another imposter has joined. Let's go catch up with everyone making their way across the field. See the 1,000 I was talking about. There's a run just along the field, nothing too complex. Pretty much a straight route with this little corner at the end. And then from there, up to the top and over a bird's eye view. So quite a nice little tribute track. And I'm sure it took quite a bit of work, especially building the stadium. Like I say, the stadium is quite big. It looks like we've had some trouble for Demon. They managed to get themselves stuck on the field. Now rolling backwards. Unless there's a booster hidden somewhere around here, they may be stuck. Maybe they can get set free. Let's catch up with everyone once again. Oh, we're losing a few people around the starting area. It's like Adam and Jenny and Diamond Swords are going to be dropping down into the slow zone. So as you can see, this route is painfully slow. Definitely don't want to get caught down here. You want to try and make your way all the way across and keep that speed down the main straight. It's Stanky currently leading. Shona in second, Harry in third. It is hot indeed, it is way too hot at the moment. It was, it's been around just over 40 degrees centigrade. Don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but 40 degrees C here today. And that is way too hot, especially with the sort of heat we get here in the UK. I know some people from other countries do get those higher temperatures, but I can tell you the heat is different. It is different. We don't get that nice dry heat that you enjoy 
in other countries. I can deal with it when I'm on holiday. We get some some different heat. It just feels like it absorbs you. So like muggy, like a heavy muggy heat. We're following the two imposters here, so it looks like wood has managed to gain from not a great start. I should say imposter wood. And imposter cheese just behind. Going past the bridge. Iceman not used to sun. Yeah, we, we aren't at all here. <laughs> Northern Germany. Yeah, I imagine it's been quite hot across the rest of Europe as well. So I'm sure you've been hit with the heat wave. Not something we are used to. And I know places that usually get heat tend to have aircon, and we don't have any of that. <laughs> so you just put a fan in the corner of a room and just hope it does enough to keep you cool to deal with the day. So everyone quite spread out across here. Also, we've got real cheese making their way down, but very far behind. Imposter cheese is actually in seventh at the moment. Imposter wood in thirteenth, and we've lost a few races around the starting area. But we'll see the front runners making their way through. So Space Comet's gone up into first, having difficulties with the drop down. Has been gained by Logan. And Logan is going to block them out and take first down the straight. Is anyone going to drop down the whole Space Comet with the bounce? They do. That's going to be a big time loss for Space Comet. So Logan is going to go away with a first place going on to lap three. And Harry is going to come through and take second. Imposter Cheese up in third now as they pass Space Comet see how many positions Space Comet loses here. This is going to be pain. Yeah, we do need better quality fans. But fans cost money. Oh, so Space Comet running really slow, dropping to 15th. Still dropping and now off the top 20. So that is brutal if you drop down there. Can't have fans and marbles here. Yeah, they might get blown around. But I can have a fan in my little commentary box. Keep me cool with my headphones on. Otherwise I will just melt. And then bad commentary. My brain stops working. But we've had a... Marble cam request for Imposter Cheese, who is flying across the bridge, taking first. So I think this is the first time we've had an imposter doing well. Uh, usually our imposters end up falling down. It's what we like to see. But at the moment, Imposter Cheese is doing well. Let's see how this plays out, because we want our imposters to, to get out of the way. <laughs> we don't want our imposters winning. They're just here to cause trouble. It looks like Imposter Cheese is going to get the drop down first. And we'll keep hold of this number one spot. But this Marvel camera should be quite useful for following through the teleporter. Gliding across the field. Demon definitely stuck there. Cloud Monkey is going to stay stuck as well. We're now going over the top. We can see everyone else below. There's Stank. He's dropped a few positions over the last couple of laps. Super Boss making their way through the field in fifth. And into the massive bowl. And there is Logan out of nowhere. So it's very close between Imposter Cheese and Logan at the moment. And it looks like Logan's going to reclaim that number one spot. Unless 
imposter cheese can get a better drop down which they may have done i don't see logan in front and a very good line across there just threading the needle between them holes heading onto lap four and the fastest lap as well a very good lap by imposter cheese logan's dropped a third so having some trouble in that bowl clearly Superboss making their way downtown. Making my way downtown. <laughs> Currently in fourth. Stanky's dropped to eighth. Superboss dropping a couple of positions, so more like making their way down the leaderboard now. Stanky's gone up to sixth. Superboss down to eighth. Magic up to seventh. Superboss is dropping terribly, so yeah, definitely making their way down the leaderboard. Now we don't see Imposter Wood anywhere. And of course our Imposter Iceman won't be appearing on the leaderboard, uh, because the join happened after the race start. We will come out of the marble cam. It looks like Imposter Cheese is going to try and lap real cheese let's let's go check on Iceman let's go check on the imposter Iceman see how they are doing they started way behind everyone else make our way through the pack and see everyone else as well oh Superboss has gone off no wonder they were dropping we are already ahead of the legit cheese marble that is true There's Imposter Wood going the slow route. And there is our Imposter Iceman making their way through the field. Actually, he's in front of Barto, who created this track. So, Imposter Iceman proving to be quite effective here. Will this reflect with the real Iceman when? we come to future seasons we will have to see not the best line there means Barto is going to get the drop down earlier and will be on the move Diamond Sword's trailing behind a bit See Imposter Wood on the move, Barto, Imposter Iceman, followed by Alice and Adam. And then we've got Quack, Andrew, Esky. Seems to be going really slow. I think they'd rolled all the way up the wrong way there. Diamond Swords, Nick, and the real cheese. Which means Imposter Cheese shouldn't be too far behind. Actually dropping some time, looks like Logan's now going to be taking the number one spot. It is a marathon, not a sprint. That is true, but we are approaching the halfway mark, coming onto lap five. Your yeah, marvel is a dirty diesel. It is like that, the amount of smoke coming out the back. And here comes Imposter Cheese, currently in second and still holding that fastest lap. Magic in third. Shown has gone into the slow route, which means that could be a drop off the leaderboard. Same for Wolf. But anyone else, side effects just missing the hole, luckily for them, bouncing off the edge. Christopher could be in trouble here. They do fall down, so does Sawyer. I'll tell you what, the best strategy here is just don't fall down these holes. And Stanky failing on that strategy. If you can consistently get over these, then you should finish fairly high. But 
So risky route for Skyline Jenny Wolf flying off. I'm not sure how they've managed that, but they are bouncing around on the floor. So DNF for them. And Stormy's going to drop down. We're we'll losing quite a bit of time. And here comes the Imposter Ice with a clean run over here. They do, they pull it off, so that'll be good for them just gaining more and more positions. And here comes that dirty diesel, followed by Carol. So we'll head back into the stadium. See Imposter Cheese and Logan's already heading across the sky pipe. Yeah, that's what we'll call it, the sky pipe. Tokyo has managed to go over the edge and trying to get into the stands to watch. Probably the bit before the finish from the slow lane that throws miles off. Potentially. And Mini now in third. Magic dropped to fourth with Dazza just behind. We see Boer and China down below. Space Comic side effects and Jake. But I think they are lapped down as none of those are on the leaderboard. Oh, a couple of them are. I think it's a mix. But on to lap six. See Imposter Cheese here once again. We'll go past and head over to the bridge and see what's going on with everyone else. I don't think we're going to catch them before they go into the teleporter. See a few of them on the drop down at this bowl. Pesky and Stormy quite close together. Looks like Stormy's going to be on the inside line coming around here. We'll be just in front of Pesky. I think this is the real cheese, it is. And there is the race leader, Logan. Where is our second place there? What's happened to Imposter Cheese? Dropped to third. So a bad run through there for them. It means Mini is now up to second. Looks like Imposter Cheese has the same sort of momentum as the real cheese. <laughs> Gets about halfway through the race and then starts to drop. see everyone else further back. Crimson currently in 20th, holding that what would be a final point scoring position if this was a seasonal race. But it is a showcase, so no need to worry about points here. Good line by Crimson, only just missing out on dropping down. And there is our Imposter Iceman as well, still making progress through the field. Is actually behind Zor. So this, oh, it looks like TJ's off. They were in 19th. So this would actually put our Imposter Iceman in 19th position right now. So a very strong play.
making a very strong entrance on their debut race. Well, I suppose their debut imposter race on a showcase. So we are on lap seven. So only a few laps left to go. head back and see where our front runners are as it looks like imposter cheese is back in the lead and logan's dropped all the way down to fourth so cheese now in first mini in second magic in third daza in fourth logan now down to fifth see logan making their way through there Bombs has had a disaster going the slow route. And we will keep an eye on this section as we see Ib dropping down. And I can take a drink. Because I am totally drying out in this heat. So we saw a few drop downs there. Skyline, T-Dub, McWave, James getting across clean. And then Adam, Baz, Christopher just getting across with a bit of a bounce. Got Barto and Boer side by side. Boer with a bounce is going to drop. Zor and Demon both making it across. Here comes Imposter Iceman making it across safely, but Muffin does not. Wood and Jenny getting across safe as well. And Iceman, Imposter Iceman is in front of Wood, so Imposter Iceman potentially being in would be in ninth at this point. Maybe tenth. Tenth. Would be in tenth, so doing incredibly well. It looks like Ib and Skyline have both fallen off. But it does seem like something in this area for sure. Definitely an issue here. I think it's these bumps. Also, there's a little bump there. Might be throwing some of the marbles off. No, because you joined. Because you joined after the race started, uh, we've learnt, thanks to Cheese, that you don't actually get recorded as like an official racer. <laughs> um, so technically, you would be in tenth right now, uh, but because we'd already started the race when you joined, it doesn't validate it as a as a racer on the leaderboard. So. Unfortunate, unfortunately there, um, but we'll, we'll try and keep track of the position based on who's around. Um, but going very strong, very strong. Yeah, full on, full on imposter. <laughs> So now whenever there's a showcase, it's always good to get here early. So it's same day every week, uh, Tuesdays, we always do a track showcase. And they're the ones that we allow the imposters in for. So if you get in early enough before the race starts, then you can use the exclamation mark join and join as an imposter to the race. But we have it disabled for all of the seasonal races so to not have any confusion or mess with any of the official racing order and points looks like the lithuanian flag my flag knowledge is also limited <laughs> and when it's spinning makes it twice as hard for me to work it out so I will take your word on that. 
So lap eight. Head back up to this zone here. We can see the imposter Iceman still in front of Wood, but behind Baz, so we'd still be holding a tenth place. A strong top ten. But currently Wood is our official tenth place. And we're seeing quite a few DNFs. There is a wood down there. Is that the imposter? It is imposter wood is off that dirty diesel rolling away. Looks like Quack, Jake and Jenny have fallen down into this slow zone. So we're going to stay here in this area, see, see how many people make it across and wait for our race leaders to come through as we approach lap 9. So we have a cheese dropping down. Is this imposter cheese or real cheese? This is imposter cheese, our current race leader. internet is terrible so you're gonna go well, I'm glad you joined us uh, for as long as you could it's a shame about your internet at the moment um, but I'll see you hopefully in the next stream so going on to lap 9 and of course while we're going around the showcase just a reminder that we are one follower away from 70 followers which is our aim for this season and get that 70 followers before the end of the season and you know what if we can get to 70 followers as soon as we hit that mark i'll reduce the length of the adverts <laughs> so there's some motivation for those that aren't subbed and don't want as many adverts 70 followers when we hit 70 followers adverts will be reduced and then we'll have another goal Maybe 80, maybe 100. I'll reduce them again. Maybe at some point we'll have no adverts. Who knows? <laughs> but for now, for now they stay. There's a bit of an incentive. Uh, one more follower. So going around the bowl, Dazza is now in second, but doesn't look like they're in a threatening position at the moment. Armtech in third with the fastest lap, side effects in fourth, Zach in fifth. <clears throat> Hello, welcome. Uh, I'm not sure how your name in full is said, so if you don't mind, I'll probably call you Ash. <laughs> uh, you're new, well, kinda. Yeah, first time chatter, so hello and welcome to the stream. Catching us on lap 9 of this showcase. Um, it's a little bit late, but if you want to use exclamation mark join in the chat, it will add in a marble for you. We call them the imposters because they aren't the official racers. Uh, so you see some names are duplicated. So we have imposter cheese currently leading and our real cheese uh, unfortunately not doing too well. Uh, you're subscribed on YouTube. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. We're trying to get those subscribers up over there and trying to get the followers up over here. As I was just saying, we are one away from 70, trying to hit that 70 mark. Um, and at 70, the ads will be reduced uh, and everything will be good. We will we'll have, we will have achieved our goal for this season. So going on to the final lap, there goes Imposter Cheese. 
and Dazza still in second, but very far back. So I think Imposter Cheese might have this in the bag. I don't jinx them. Are <laughs> you going? Well, thank you for popping in. <laughs> Loves you to join us for a little bit. Yeah, where is Dazza? I don't think they've gone past. I think Imposter Cheese is just that far ahead. So there's Dazza. Armtex actually moved up to second. And still holding the fastest lap going into the final lap. But our Imposter Cheese is just flying away with it. Yes, I've, I did notice that they were uh, a follower. Yeah, the most recent one. I think they might have followed is it a couple of streams back or between streams. They clearly found, found us through YouTube, so that's great. Imposter Cheese is going to pull through the hole on the last lap and arm tech. Take the win. It's a bold statement. They've managed to keep consistent so far, so let's see what happens. So where is our imposter cheese at the moment? Only just getting through to the pipe. Thought they would have been through to the next zone already. So we'll try and track our imposter cheese race. We're at Mario, how on earth have you got out here? Oh, you're on this side, okay. Mario way off in the distance. Quite a few people getting stuck in this area, including the real cheese. The imposter cheese should be making their way through to this area. There they go, with the green trail following. We see wood. Cheese has actually managed to lap up into the top 20s. So let's see. Is your call correct? What is going to happen on the holes? There will be side effects in second at the moment. So Armtech has actually dropped to fourth. But here is the important moment. Making their way across a big bounce. Look at that, like magic. They've called it. Cheese, imposter cheese falling on the final hurdle of the race. Now, do they have a big enough lead to hold side effects back? This is going to be close. Where is side effects? That is the question. They are in the bowl. So is Dazza. Just coming down now. Will they get a good enough drop? I think they might do. Side effects dropping down. Dazza dropping down as well. It's going to be a close finish. Dazza actually going up into second. Will they make it across? Dazza does make it across. And so close to the end. Imposter cheese. So close. But Dazza coming down with a lot of speed. Is going to steal the win. Will Imposter Cheese be able to get second? Oh, just blocking out side effects. Wait. Hold on a minute. There's a flaw in there's a flaw in the design. There's a flaw, and I've just noticed it. So side effects did take second. Armtech took third, and uh Imposter Cheese isn't actually going to probably finish in the top 20. So the big flaw in this design uh, for Barto. <laughs> Just to point out, uh, and I'll confirm this as more people come down to the line, but they are a lap down anyway. This checkpoint here. Why did you say I must have missed that? Yeah, there's no checkpoint at the bottom. So anyone that falls actually goes a lap behind because they miss out on that checkpoint. So a bit of an oversight there, just see Logan tumbling off. 
So cheese will be a lap down. So it'll be interesting to see where imposter cheese actually finishes. I see, I see. Makes sense. So that is why the positions were having such dramatic changes. So very costly to go down here. You don't just lose all of this time. You lose an entire lap on top. That is brutal. So we'll speed up time. Can we just agree that you win? <laughs> well, I think you were at one point you were in the top 10. I know you ended up dropping down. So it's hard to say where you actually finished. There we go, cheese actually gets, or imposter cheese actually gets seventh. Magic in eighth, James in ninth, Akane in tenth. So, quite a scuffed leaderboard. <laughs> Uh, but while we wait for the DNF timer and everyone to finish, uh, here is our winner for the showcase with a very dramatic finish, as always. Imposter Cheese just failing on the final section and losing a whole lap in doing so. And Dazza taking the win on the showcase. So congratulations to them. And we just wait for everyone to finish. So while we're waiting for this, I will also say uh, I'm looking at making some changes in the future of the way I do streams. Um, it be interesting to get some feedback from some people as to what they think about this, or maybe once I start doing it, what people think about how it works. Uh, but I was thinking about some of the things that have been talked about in the streams around the length of videos for YouTube versus the length of streams on Twitch and what's ideal for both and things around doing other content and doing stuff after the race is finished, whether that's a different game, uh, like a variety stream sort of thing, or some more marvelous stuff, maybe some of the tracks I'm working on, some track builds, testing other tracks, doing some casual races. Something, or something silly, whatever it is. Um, so the, th the thoughts I've been having for that is... And this won't take effect this season because all the laps and timings are all locked in and won't be moved. But in the future, potentially to have the races and showcases shorter. So say half the time they are at the moment. So almost back to what the original season was uh, when it comes to lap counts. Um, so that means instead of being around an hour, it'll be probably about half an hour, which would probably be better suited for cutting that into a half hour a bit for YouTube, because I feel like the longer videos probably don't do quite as well over there, whereas the shorter ones might. And then following that, we do something extra for the people watching on Twitch. It's also another incentive to come and watch um, live on Twitch and follow. Uh, to get that extra content so whether that's more marble world racing whether it's track builds like i say different game um and it'll be based a bit on who's watching what people want to see what people want to do i'll be taking suggestions from the people in the chat um, but yeah see what people think of that idea i might start doing it with the showcases this season um, but like i say the actual races are locked in with their timings and laps so the races it won't take effect till the next season yeah let me know in the discord what your thoughts on that are uh, there is a suggestions channel in the discord if you have any ideas around it uh, drop them in there or just in the general have a general chat and see what people think it also means i might make some changes to the schedule in the future i might pull a couple of the races forward a little bit more so it gives me more time without it going too late into the night, uh, especially with like the midweek stuff, um, as I do have to work. I do have 
a full-time job. <laughs> so I can't be up ridiculously late doing like streaming. And then there's of course all the editing and stuff as well. What's the main focus for me? It's a bit of a split focus. To be honest, I think my main area is it's streaming. So everything's streamed and all the streams end up being edited down or chopped a bit and going onto YouTube. So it's trying to hit both audiences because I'm getting a bit of a getting with a bit of a following on YouTube as well. Um, and in some ways, and this probably is bound to happen, the subscriber count is higher than my follower count, which I think would probably make sense with most things in comparison of YouTube and Twitch. But everything is going to be sort of stream focused, so everything comes from streams and then will be edited for YouTube. Uh, but the races. Like the seasonal races, I feel like having them shorter just makes them a better format for the YouTube platform while still being long enough to enjoy live because some of them can get a bit long at the moment. I know some people enjoy that, but after like, the discussion with Cheese in one of the previous streams, um, they talked about also enjoying the streams being longer than they are currently and just having whether it's just additional content beyond the races. Um, and yeah, I'm definitely open to that. Um, and in turn, maybe shortening the races slightly just to find a middle ground. And that way, depending on how many people are watching and what they want to see, depends on how long I do the stream for following on from the race. I do have a few other games I do like to play. I definitely like to get the community involved. Um, one of the big things about Twitch is being able to do that live. Um, whether it's on free games or games that people enjoy playing, that people have, or anything I can get the community involved in through Twitch add-ons or something. So, you know, a variety of things. Uh, the main thing is just getting all of you involved, the interaction, um, and what everyone's happy with. Um, as well as myself, of course, I have to enjoy it as well. <laughs> I uh, don't know how much editing work it would be, but I would actually keep the race length for Twitch as some sort of live spectacle that the race actually are and cut it down to shorter videos like for YouTube. If you want to watch the full race, you need to go to, go to Twitch. YouTube would just be for the highlights. Not a bad idea. Don't know how many people on YouTube that annoy. <laughs> uh, it's not a bad idea. Of course, the big element of that is the editing. Now, if I was doing this full time, or I had an editor, then definitely. Um, but at the moment, I don't really make any money off this. <laughs> so it's a bit of a tougher option. Maybe in the future though, you never know. We never know what the future holds. We can keep pushing, keep dreaming. Still waiting for this race to finish as well. People must have been so many laps behind, still going through and re-triggering the DNF timer. That's not a bad idea. I guess it's something to think about. Yeah, they're on the floor, but I have a 60 second DNF timer, which we use in all the races. So after a marble crosses the line to finish, a 60 second countdown starts. And then every time another marble crosses the line, it's 60 seconds again. But clearly some of that many laps behind that they're still doing laps and <laughs> setting times. So maybe we're going to have to bring this to a pause end. Uh, because we can't sit here forever watching them go around and around and around. And we are approaching the one hour mark. So we might have to call it in a couple of minutes. But while we wait for these couple of minutes, we'll talk about tomorrow. So tomorrow we have a season race. And I'm going to double check what track it is on. Oh, I've just realized the standings I uploaded for the end of race 21 are slightly incorrect uh, for the winner count and fastest lap count 
Um, so I need to make a tweak there. Uh, but yeah, the next race is Doom Canyon Stadium. Race 22. And it's going to be an elimination race. So that means high DNF counts. So, you know, more of the favourite race type. I think it's the last elimination. Yeah, I'm sure Dazza probably has race like double the length. Uh, yeah, this is the last elimination race uh, for in the season. I know they're a bit of a fan favourite. Lots of DNFs, lots of action. Lots of big upsets. So tomorrow at the same time, that to look forward to. And then the day after will be the last stream of this week. Or at least the last race of the week. And it's going to be on the new and improved highway race by our very own Cheese. I know they've been looking forward to that race coming up after putting in some work on developing the remaster of the track. And I think we're going to call it on the race because this is just going on forever. So let's end the race. And I'm glad they've changed this. So beforehand it used to be that the first person would have a time if you force ended the race and everyone else would be DNFs, even if they'd finished. Uh, but that has changed. So now we can actually see who was still going. So Beefcake, I don't know if they're off the track somewhere, but yeah, they are. Oh, Shone is still going. So I think it was just, oh, and Stank. So yeah, I've had a few people that are still rolling around. And look at these time differences as well. Must be a massive gap here. So yeah, that's that's always holding us up. Still people going round and around. <laughs> yeah, big, big time difference. 19 minutes behind. Crazy. Yeah, an interesting out of that view and head back in here to get a look at the stadium once again. Yeah, nice a nice tribute track. There we go. The Buddy 1000 Tribute Track by King Bato. Yeah, a nice AFL themed track there. Very interesting. And oh, the DNFs. Of course. Can't forget about that. The DNF predictions. Now, we did have to force end. We could not sit here forever. Uh, so, you know, you're going to have to deal with that. Might have a couple of extra DNFs than we would have had, but to be honest, looking at this, I don't think anyone would have got it right. Uh, so, quick count through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 22, 22. I know this is everyone's favourite part, the counting with UMR. So, now we can go into choose outcome, choose outcome. Complete and yeah, I don't think anyone is going to have got that prediction correct. Don't think anyone voted anyway. Well, then no one can win. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. See details. Did we even have a vote? We did not. No, you're right. So yeah, with no one voting, no one was going to win anyway. No one wanting to risk it with a totally new track. So yeah, that is going to be it for this track showcase. Like I say, come back tomorrow at the same time for our last elimination race of the season. Should be exciting. And but that is going to be it. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one.